We're chilling. We're chilling with Rick. He's gonna get to the story quick. Yeah, we're chilling. Yes, we're chilling with Rick. Chilling with Rick, everybody. All right, let's get to the sponsors. Upscale Exotics, reptile-only specialty store that carries exotic reptiles looking for homes. They have snakes, lizards, geckos, turtles, chameleons, tarantulas, and more. It's the store of the creepy critters. <laughs> With all the supplies, enclosures, and food, it's your one-stop shop, and they have knowledgeable staff located at 145 West Seneca Street in Sherrill, 315-367-5002. Games People Play, formerly Mind Games. It's a game store with so much more. They've been in business for 28 years. They have Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! or Magic the Gathering. Dungeons and Dragons and also sports cards. They also have retro video games and board games. Weekly events held in store and a knowledgeable staff located at 114 Madison Street in Oneida. 315-363-2448. Whitestown Automotive. Quality repairs at a good price. Just up the Thruway Bridge in Westmoreland. Boogie Dad's Music. Working on producing and distributing music on all platforms. And great royalty kickbacks for all performers. Oneida Carpets. Oneida Carpets, family owned and operated by Scott and Lynn White. They're both installers. They install carpet, laminate, vinyl, luxury vinyl, plank flooring, and ceramic tile. All of your flooring needs in one store. They're located at 174 Madison Street in Oneida, 315-361-9800. Big Girl Stump Removal. Do you have a stump that needs to be removed? I'm talking about a tree stump. <laughs> uh, then call up Big Earl. He's a great guy with very fair prices and he'll grind the stump right down to the roots. Give him a call at 315-363-5217. Papa Top. That place out there is just like Florida. It's a tropical paradise out there on that big old deck. Uh, they have obviously the outdoor deck, Adirondack chairs, picnic tables, bar stools, Grab some friends and go listen to some live music at Papa Top. Frog's Bar. Outdoor bar, picnic tables, Adirondack chairs, two fire pits for when fall comes. Uh, the owner, Mary, is phenomenal. She's a friend of mine. She wears the chill and zip up proudly. <laughs> and there's live music there all summer. Oneida Kellett Civic Center. Upcoming events include NU Wrestling on May 27th. I'll be at that. Absolute Adele, an Adele tribute show, coming October 22nd at 3 p.m. Get your tickets for that, oneidacallet.com. Also coming on Saturday, February 24th, 2024, is Appetite for Voltage, a Guns N' Roses ACDC tribute band. Get your tickets at oneidacallet.com. All right, on to my next guest. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Chillin' with Rick. Today I have all the people show, by the way. Without the people, I'd be nothing. Thank you, guys. And shout out to Z and Justin from Disruption Network. It's all part of it. <laughs> Woo! Nice stick. Outside. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to Chillin' with Rick. Today I have with me bass player and vocals of the band Homebound. There you go. <laughs> Dennis yep. Sullivan. How you doing, brother? Good. How are you, Cousin, man? Actually, Cousin brother. Dennis. That's, that's right. right. Let me tell you guys a quick story. I think it was January I introduced yeah, you guys. It might have been, yeah. It was dead ass winter. <laughs> it was a bad stormy night. Yeah. And I introduced these guys at Backroads Tavern. The whole band and me were standing around in one big huddle when I was getting to know everybody and uh they said it was like family, so I decided to call myself Cousin Chillin'. That's right. <laughs> so yeah. I'm in the homebound part family. part of the family that day. I'm in the <laughs> homebound family. That's right. That's right. Once oh. you're in the family, you're always there. Yes. And show everybody that handsome oh, that's shirt. that's right. Nice shirt. Woo! Chillin' with Rick. That's the best shirt ever. That's right. I'm a Matches huge fan. Matches that hat pretty good. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, these koozies. That's right. That's yours to keep. Oh, thank you, buddy. That's your payment. Yeah, all right. That's cool. <laughs> he goes, all right. Yeah. <laughs> 
We should be paying you though, man. Yeah. You're all the help and support you're giving all these local bands and stuff. It's amazing. It's great. Yeah. I mean, that's what makes the music scene is when everybody pulls together. Yeah. Um, it's not about us. I mean, we're we're all playing because we love to play in the music and we feed off in the crowd. But when it comes to the support we get outside of that night, like with you advertising and digging deep and asking these questions to yeah. people. You know, that, that's the support that we need and this, the community needs it. There's, you don't see that around here. There's a couple other ones that do it, yes. Yeah. But, um, and I thank them too. You yeah. know I mean, it's just the fact that this is what we need. We yeah. need that. And I think it's going to get better and better and better, just like your show. Yep. Your show's getting better and better and better every season. So I can't wait to see what the show's five years from now. You know oh, what I mean? Well. This is something that you're building it just like we're building our bands. Yeah. And we're doing it all together, which makes to me even better. Well, I appreciate awesome. the kind words, oh, brother. No, always. Yeah. Much love. <laughs> so you know you've seen my show. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I like to start from the beginning. So where are you from? Um, I'm from Morrisville. Yeah. Um, pretty much brought up and raised in Morrisville. All right. Moved away for a little while and then uh, came back. Um, uh, my father was a musician. My uncles were musicians. Um, then my son, you know, he kind of brought it up too with me. Yeah. Um, my nephew, you know, I got a lot of musicians in the family, and that's basically how Homebound started. All right. Yeah. It is a family band. That's right. <laughs> um, very much so. Yeah. Very much so. Now yeah. you just went through a lead singer change, correct? Yes, we did. Um, and um, Zach, um, he started with us in the beginning of Homebound. Yeah. Um, when we started Homebound, um, like I said, it was basically um, my son, my nephew, and myself. Um, always wanting, I've always wanted yeah. more than them. Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna say that right up front. I always wanted to be in a band with my nephew and my son. Yeah. And um, they, you know, they, I'm sure they did too. You yeah. know, I mean, I'm not saying it that way. But um, and when it was able to happen, the time was right, and um, we were gonna make it happen. Yeah. And when we did, I was in a previous band, and I had the two guitar players that I was with in that band were both brothers, mm -hmm. and they always wanted to stay in a band together. So it worked out yeah. perfect that we brought this family and this family together. Yeah. Um, my girlfriend's brothers are sound man, you know, I, he's my brother-in-law, yeah. um, and um, we were looking for a singer. So we advertised for a singer, went through auditions, and Zach was the man. We, yeah. when, um, we went through all the different people, and Zach was the man we wanted. We knew um, that's what we were looking for. We mm -hmm. wanted somebody with range, we wanted somebody that had the same likes and stuff, and wanting to do the different genres, um, and it worked out great. Yeah. Unfortunately, he had to move away. Um, but the good thing is, one, because of you, we found Cameron. That was the whole thing too. It was, it was such a, it was a, a um, it was an awesome time because my I'm on the computer and I'm typing up a letter that I was going to post on to you yeah. to post on your page. Yep. And I'm like, of all places, everybody that's in the music community is going to be looking at chilling with Rick. So my thing was let's put that let's put something on there and even if i didn't want to like announce oh homebound is losing their singer that type of thing i want it to be more or less anonymous and yeah. you just say i was going to use you as a middleman yeah. and if you're looking for you know a band as a singer here you go yeah and we had some you know uh, advertisements out there um but i figured that was going to be this place yeah. and as i was getting ready to send you the message i look at your on the facebook and i see a post somebody posted on there cameron and it said he was looking to join a band. And I'm like, I'll give this guy a shot. I'm going to listen to what he's like. So I started listening to it. And That's as soon an as I heard him, it was. It was. It was, it was perfect. And as I'm, I'm listening to him, I'm like, oh, this guy, I like this guy. You know what I mean? This is going to be cool. Yeah. So as I'm texting him, Matt, my son, calls him. says, Dad, you got to get on Chillin's page. I'm like, why? He's like, there's a guy advertising looking for a band. I'm like, Matt, I'm already ahead of you. I said, matter of fact, hold on. I got to let you go because he's calling me right now. I've already sent him a message. Yeah. Cameron calls me up and we shot the shit for a while. And, you know, basically for me with the band was up front. You know, no nothing, no high nothing. This is what we want, you know, and, and I say that was it was him too. This is what I want, you yeah. know what I mean? And this is what I'm looking for in a band. Um, and we both had the same ideas. We both had the same thoughts and, you know, the ideas of what type of genre and, and everything. Yeah. The song list. I'm like, this is going to work out good. So we auditioned him and it was, we had our little, um, idea like he's going to be the one we've already gone through auditions before and if he's if he's as good as what we've heard on some of his past videos and we like his attitude you know he's going to be in yeah. you know we like it that we're not just a band that's you know hanging out you know at a show 
you know, we want to have that cookout here or there or come over and practice. It's not just practicing. We get together, we have a meal together, we hang out together during that practice. Um, and we knew that if that took place, he's going to be the man. Yeah. And so we had, we had to come up with a, um, we had to figure out a code, you know, because I mean? we're in the, my studio and this was in my basement. And um, what are we going to say in case this guy's like, I'm going to uh, get back with you guys. I don't want him to leave. And then the next day he finds something else, yeah. you know, and because I know there's other people looking at him. Yeah. And I know for a fact. And, um, or, you know, the what ifs, yeah. you know, if we let this guy go without making some, a commitment, we don't want to jump on it either. You know yeah. what I mean? So we got to make sure that everybody's in. And the thing was the song, I got a feeling, you know, we're like, we've been working on it and we didn't have that on the, the list for him to learn. Yep. But I said, if, you know, somebody just mentioned the song, I got a feeling like, Hey, you guys want to do, I got a feeling. And if somebody says, no, not right yet, yep. maybe later, yeah. that means all right, let's give him a little bit more. I want to hear some more stuff from him. Yeah. Or if you're like, yeah, let's play it. And then, and then you know, you're in. Okay. And that person's like, yeah, let's, yeah, let's do it now. Yeah. And everybody kind of say it, then we know everybody's okay with it. But if somebody says, no, let's just, let's wait another day. Then we know we've got to wait another day. So yeah. that, was the, that was the game plan. And it was going to work out great. Everybody yeah. knew what the plan was. Yeah. And it's funny because we're in the middle of another song, right in the middle of the song. And Doug's playing. He's like, I got a feeling. I got a feeling. I'm like, this is going to be so awkward because why are you saying this in the middle of a song, you know? And then later on, I did say, yeah, you know, you guys want to play I Got a Feeling? And, you know, my son's like, yeah. And, and Doug or Jeff was just leaving early, and I, caught, I got a hold of him first. And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. And it's funny because later on down, as I'm telling Cameron the story a little bit, because we were busting, his, you know, on, busting on him a little bit, and he comes back in from being outside for a break, and he comes in, and... Another part of the story is I'm, I grabbed the phone, pretending I'm talking to Jeff that just left. Yeah. And I'm like, you're kidding me. No, really? Oh, no way. Well, I'm just kind of looking down so I don't see him come in mm -hmm. and his brother, Doug. I'm like, him and Doug just went outside. Oh, man, I don't know how to tell him. I pretty much told him he's got the part, and now you're telling me no? Oh, but why? Are you serious? Really? I didn't know. I didn't even pick on that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. All right. No, it's going to be a no then. Well, he leaves and he goes into the bathroom and, and he's in there for a while. <laughs> We're like, and I'm trying to like hurry this up, but he's not coming out of the bathroom. I'm mm -hmm. waiting for him to come back out to say, "Hey, I got gotcha. you." And we're talking, I'm talking, talking to myself, and everybody else is in <laughs> on it a little bit. And finally, he comes out, and uh, I'm like, "Hey, I gotta tell you something." He's like, uh, "Were you just talking to Jeff?" I'm like, "Yeah." And then we kind of, you know, said, you know, it was a joke type thing. We're all laughing, and he took it great. But then later on, he's like, he brought it up like two practices later. He's like. Yeah, that I got a feeling thing after he told him the story. He's like, I heard um, Doug mention it during the song, middle of a song. Like, I got a feeling. He's like, what was that all about? You know? So he caught on. He knew, but he was just thinking something was weird. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we, we, we have some fun. You know, that's the whole thing. You know, we have fun with everything, all the practice, the, the gigs out. It's about, it's about having fun. I, um, that's what personally, about. Yeah, well, I personally had to apologize to everything in the band because my thing is, um, I, a couple times, you know, took it to the next we're taking the band to the next level yeah. and that's the thing we're always trying to improve and improve and improve because there's some damn good bands out there yeah you know showtime um gary dunes all these people i mean you have them on your show too yeah. you just had gary just recently yep. and these guys my are last interview. these guys are top notch yeah and that's the band i strive to be yep. you know what i mean that's the the type of band we want this to be and we're trying to get there and we are getting there and yeah. every time we do something we look back at it and how do we improve it well you also got to remember to have fun. And that's the point that I had to sit back and say, you know what? We got to have fun. Yeah. You know, and Cameron, you know, me and Cameron um, talked a couple times and, you know, it's like, yeah, you know, he's right. We got to have fun here. You yeah. know, so let's, let's, let's just enjoy the ride. You know, we're doing what we got to do and let's just enjoy the ride. And it's, it's worked out good that way. Yeah. It's worked out real good. Good. Yeah. And all because of me. And yes, it's all because of you. And that's why I say, <laughs> you, should, you know, and, and again, I'm going to plug this real quick. Big Apple Music t-shirts are out, $15. Boom. Over there, and it's got the band's names on the back. Again, another person that supports us. Yeah. Just like you. Yeah. You know, this is the things that we wouldn't be the, the band that we're in, or all these other bands are, without somebody like you or, you know, Mark over at Big Apple Music. Yeah. You know, the, that's what Mark is a wonderful is human us. being. He really yeah. is. Yeah, oh my gosh, yeah. He's so kind. I've never yeah. met him, but I just heard he's kind. Oh my gosh. He's supposed yes. to be here tomorrow, but it's not happening. Uh, well, try to reschedule him if yeah, you can, I'm fit gonna. him in somehow, but... Yeah, he's he's like such a great um, 
person. I yeah. mean, just, I'll just say it like that. It's yeah. not just helping us out, the local musicians. He is he's a great person, yep. but his staff is is um, fantastic. They're knowledgeable. Um, but you know, this is about you right here. Yeah. We got. I want to ask you some questions. You know, please do. You've been doing this for what? This is my fifth year. Fifth, that's what I say. Fifth year. Yeah. So. You've seen improvement on yourself. You've built yeah. this up it's huge. You know, what I mean? I'm not reading off a notebook. <clears throat> and I know you had the, <laughs> the little setback a month or so ago where you weren't thinking, you know, weren't sure. But I'm glad you're still doing it this year. I hope Thanks. next year continues. Yes, I'm cutting Cut way back. Well, yeah. that's cutting back yeah. is fine. Yeah. You know, just don't give up. This yeah. is something that you want to always do. I'm building it this far. I got to keep going. With Absolutely. It. Yeah. So. Absolutely. And when I made that video, I was just really down on myself because I'm not getting the views I used to get, and you know, it just I, I get that it comes and goes. But that's that's where mm. we you gotta. I'm learning from you at yep. the same time. Yeah. And with everybody giving you that advice today, the same yeah. thing with me with, um, like I said, me and Cameron talking. Yeah. It's like one of those things where, yeah, you know what, we're, we want to be here. Yeah. And it's gonna get there. Yeah. But let's enjoy the ride while it's there. Yeah. Same thing with you. Just re just I'm back off a little ride. bit. And I'm doing too many, and I'm releasing too many episodes, and people are over my shit this year, and I get it. <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> but I got the diehards like you that'll but, still watch. But the yeah, um, I think I'm still thinking everybody's still gonna watch it. Yeah. Um, but I think the biggest thing is they all want you know they everybody's watching it. They just want to be on the show. Yeah. You know, it's just like oh, I want to be on the show. I want to be on the show, but. <laughs> It's, there's only so much time. I went out to the American Legion the other night, and I'm not trying to brag on myself, but this really happened. Within five minutes, I must have shook ten hands. And I had people say, wow, chilling with Rick's here. Yeah, yeah. That's where I did season one of my show when I was a nobody. I'm, I still consider myself a nobody. No, you're not. I'm just though. out you're, here you're, trying. You're, you've built it now. <laughs> you're there. You're building it. And See, you built it already up to this point. Yeah, I'm just out here trying. That's yeah. all I'm doing. But that was cool that I got so much love. Absolutely. You know, and that's where Chillin' Fest is going to be. You did get an invite. Yeah. Today, oh, absolutely. Right? Okay. All right. sure. well, I think <laughs> yeah. everybody in the band is going to be coming for that. Good. I'm absolutely. Looking forward to bring all your instruments. All right. I mean, gate. I mean, there's going to be a PA mics and drums. Bring bass, guitars. Yeah, sure. So just make yeah. sure you're good. Sounds like it'll be a good time. Yeah. Oh, well, it's going to be great. Showtime's going to be there. Ryan Quinn's going to be there. everybody. Sweet. Everybody, man. That's cool. <laughs> I don't think you were at my party last year, but it was out here. There were 50 musicians out here. That's it was cool. a great time. That's cool. But this year it's at the American Legion. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So, yeah. That's very cool. Oh, yeah. So let me get some of your background, man. When you were a little um, Dennis Sullivan. Yeah. What um, were you listening to? I think to? everybody that's like a musician that started young always has that picture of them, you know, with a guitar yeah. or a drumstick, you know, at you know four or five years old. Um, and actually just recently I posted... Um, a couple um, pictures of like myself, my nephew, and my son back. Yeah. Uh, probably, I'm gonna guess, 18, 17 years ago, or 16 years ago. Yeah. And it was the first time I was at my sister's house, and my nephew's got a guitar in his hand. I got a yeah. guitar in my hand. My son's behind a drum set, and we just re recreated the picture actually a couple weeks ago. Yeah. And um, you know, it's, it was just that. You know, all these memories, you know, will come up. But I started, you know, young age. My father being a musician. Um, even my mother. My mother um, took uh, organ lessons, and um, she's got dementia right now. But she'll even sit back at the piano now and the key you know, keyboard or, or the organ, and she'll play stuff. Yeah. And she just took you know, a couple years of lessons. She wasn't really, but she loved it though. Yeah. Um, but my father, um, he played guitar. Um, I still have his, you know, all of his music, his instruments. My nephew actually, our debut ever playing his Homebound. Yeah. Um, opened the song. My my nephew played it. Yeah. And uh, that was cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> gotta, gotta forgive me. I just get choked up over. Hey man, I cry on my show. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, guys. Oh, I made another one cry. God damn it. <laughs> Welcome to the club, that's brother. Right. <laughs> that's right. That's right. No, it's. Uh, There's no shame in crying, man. That's right. Hell no. Um, but no, it's 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 a to me it's a it's growing up with music, um, enjoying music. Yes. Um, and that's a, I go keep going back. That's why I wanted homebound. Yeah. Was to be able to do it as a family thing. And what a perfect know? name, Homebound. Th that's that's how we came up with the name. That's how we came up with the name. The passion that you just let out of your eyeballs, that means a lot to me. Because that shows me you're really passionate. Oh, it is. That means I, I more realized, to me than what you I, know. I, uh, I love doing this. Yeah. You know, I love doing when it. When I made that video that day saying I was giving this up, I took I have like four takes in that because I kept crying and right, I kept right. crying and I kept crying. It's right. like son of a bitch, I'll be miserable if I didn't do it. Yep, <laughs> so yep. I'm glad I'm sticking with it. I'm just cutting back. Yep. That was yep. the logical answer. 
you shouldn't quit anything. No, you Especially love doing after it. five years of you building. You love doing it. it. You've been wanting to do it. Yeah. That's what makes it important. Yeah. You're a good man. Well, thank you. I, I appreciate, you know, I don't appreciate you cried, but I, that shows me that you care and Absolutely. you're passionate. Um, but that's me and the band. Um, been with multiple bands throughout the time, you know, growing up. Um, my uh, son, obviously, um, is the drummer in Homebound. Um, we all play multiple instruments. Yeah. Um, maybe not all the time at the shows, but um, we all, outside the shows we do, but um, we all play multiple instruments. So there is times in the show that my son might be playing bass. Um, I'll be on drums. My nephew could be on drums. Um, my nephew's on pretty much. He's our he's our go-to person when yeah. we need that. We need that sound. How can we you know reproduce that sound? It's either keyboard, mandolin, guitar, um, keyboard, you know, drums, whatever, yeah. percussion. You know, if he's not playing something on guitar, he's still hurting his knee and leg with that tambourine. You know. Yeah. But um, again, my so my son's bass, vocals, and drums. Um, my nephew doing all the us with vocals. Cameron vocals, he's also plays guitar. Um, Doug, keyboard, guitar, uh, bass, vocals. Um, Jeff, same thing, ba all string instruments, um, vocals. So we all can move around, and if we did have to, God forbid, this happened, we had a scare actually this week um, playing Lucan Saturday night. We weren't sure um, what we we're gonna do. Um, my son, you know, um, girlfriend, had COVID prior to a while back, so he was thinking he might have to miss the show. So what do we do, you know? But we work it out so that we have something to fall back on. Yeah. You know, Zach. I mentioned Zach, the, yeah. the original singer. He's always going to be a Homebound member. Yeah. You know, he's part of the family. He was an original member of Homebound, yep. and he's there for us still. So we have a couple of gigs coming up. Cameron wouldn't be able to do. Nor normally, in a band, if if you can't make it, I'm not going to fill your position with somebody. Yeah. But in this part. It's perfect because he's our backup person to go to, so he can also fill in bass or guitar or drum or not drums but vocals. Yeah. So if Cameron could make it, we could always fill in with him. And this show that uh, Lucan's was going to be possible, him coming in and taking some bass parts, uh -huh. some acoustic parts. Me and Mike would swap and we'd switch off the drum parts. Yeah. Um, so we're still going to be able to do it. And if Mike's out, we don't do keyboard parts, we don't do steel guitar parts, mandolin parts, harmonica parts. You know that's what I'm saying. Mike has that. Um, real wide range of, of instrumentation, yeah. so um, we can always just keep going and not cancel a show. Yeah, um, that's um, where Zach comes is, helps us all a lot on it. Yeah. Um, but then everybody being able to move, know the different parts of each other's other people's parts, and it's good. Yeah. It's good with music, the musicianship we have. Yeah. Oh you know? yeah. I'm digging your stories, man. <laughs> These are great. <laughs> you got me. I was like, I don't even know what to ask. <laughs> what age did you pick up uh, the first instrument for the first time? Uh, I'm going to say, well. And when did it stick? I was just going to say, that's, that's the difference. <laughs> Picking it up is one thing. Yep. And really learning it is another. Um, I'm going to say, I'm going to say four or five. Wow. My first, you know. Tiny you're like kids, a Justin Smith acoustic guitar, but not playing. It. I mean, it's just you're just you're not. I'm not playing it. You know, I'm I'm strumming on it. Um, and then Avi's doing it though. But Avi's going to the my. It, it didn't matter what it was, family picnic, funeral, wedding, whatever it was. My father and my uncle would always be there playing. Yeah. And um, I had cousins that played also. You know, and as soon as you know the parents put the instruments down and take a break, you know we're over there, you know, jumping on it. Like my cousin George sitting there, you know. We're just having a good time, you yeah. know. Um, smoke on the water, you know. We're, we're stuff like that, you know. Yeah. But we're having a good time. Yeah. Um, and then they get the father, get out of here. You know, <laughs> what are you doing? You know, so, and that was probably, I was uh, 12 maybe at that point. That sounds right. Um, and that was when I started, I started on drums. Um, probably around 10, 11 actually. Actually, my, no, my uncle gave me a drum set. Um, I was eight years old. And um, I'm sure your parents it appreciated just, it. Uh, yeah, actually they did. <laughs> they actually did. My my parents really supported music a lot. Where their living room turned into a music room. There you go. Piece by piece, as my drum set got bigger, we'd have to lose another you know recliner. We'd have to lose a table. Yeah. Um, I think we ended up down to just a couch in that living room, and we had my mom's keyboard or my yeah, mine's organ, my dad's keyboard, my drum set, 
PA speakers, guitars, everything was out. My father played every day, though. Yeah. Um, so it was a room that was being used yep. as a music room. Um, yeah, so that that was definitely probably my start at like 11 or 12. Yeah. And then high school, you know, you got the, the jam garage bands yes. and stuff. I had a friend, Jeff Miller, who's an amazing guitar player, um, bass player, vocalist. You know, he's in Boston right now, and he's amazing. And he pretty much got me more or less going towards the the rock stuff, electric guitar, because I always was my father's band playing out drums at that point, yep. and um, he got me started with that stuff. I'm about to kill somebody, Dennis. Hold at, on. Least <laughs> at least it's not the lawnmower. At least it's not the lawnmower. It's not the lawnmower. You do watch my show. Oh, see? Chi- I apologize for the swearing. The church that I chimes did. are beautiful. The lawnmower <laughs> in. I have to make light of that, man. Yeah. I, I do the best I can to make it fun. Far funny. <laughs> when, when, when did you start thinking that you wanted to do this show? I had a dream about it. There did? was no thinking about it. It just came to me in a dream. And I said, well, I got the outgoing personality. Let's do it. And here we are. But you've always loved music. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Now, do you play anything? I don't. You just love the music? I just love music. And, and I want to help you guys. Out. I want to yeah. help you guys. If if all the bands watch this, would they actually bring me a poster of themselves? Or I fill up my garage. Oh one. my gosh! Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. nobody sends me anything ever. <laughs> gotcha. gotcha. You would though. Yeah. You would, and that's you know what. Yeah. You we I don't know you, you got yeah. the that might be a suggestion. Yeah. Have everybody bring our banners and hang them up down there at the Legion that day. Yeah. Like I, our, our banner, you know, we got the sign, the stand that goes on. Um, I know Kevin Pratt from Broken Rule. He's got a stand. His goes on. Yeah. A lot of them do. Yeah. Put them all around, you know. Yeah. Make a, let's make a wall of everybody's banners out back there yeah. or something, you know. That'd be cool. Yeah. It's gonna be an insight thing, I think. Yeah. Oh, is it yeah. weather? Yeah. Just in case, yeah. you know, we're gonna go yeah. inside. We don't want to roll the dice on anything. That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and the uh, the Saturday show that I went to was originally gonna be outside, but the way it's been raining lately, you know, and it rained that night, so it's a good thing it was inside. Yeah. But we're not rolling the dice. It's just gonna be inside. So. I gotta get some of my chilling with Rick. That's right. It's gonna give you superpowers, man. Oh, you I know. ready? I know, ready. I'm ready for this. <laughs> Bam. I'm about to kill somebody. <laughs> All right, back to you. <laughs> I'm sorry for the horn. It's like they know I'm filming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, chilling's filming. <laughs> yep. Once again, I gotta make light of it. Yep. So, uh, what kind of albums did you listen to? Like, what kind of bands? Who, Everything. Who that, could, that's you why were I, yeah, I That's why I really love playing all the different genres. Yeah. Um, it's a challenge. I love the eclectic. Yeah. 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 You're not just, you know, solid on one thing. Nope. Yeah. Not at all. You, especially in this band, you couldn't. You yeah. know what I mean? Because we're, we are playing such a wide variety of stuff that um, I one thing, I, you're always, you learn from all the different styles. Yeah. Um, and... Um, I appreciate all the different styles, yeah. you know. I will go hear any band locally, um, and we all have our bad nights. We all have our good nights. But I will tell you, I will find something with each band mm-hmm. that I love. Yeah. No matter what it is. It's going to be something. Um, if, if it's a sax player playing, you know, a solo, or if it's, you know, the drummer, the way he's, you know, getting the beat going. Mm-hmm. Um there's something I, fi- I can find out of that band that really stands out that I really enjoy. Yeah. Um, and the style of music could be anywhere. I, I'll enjoy listening to anything. I enjoy um, playing everything. Um, again, it's the challenge, too, of the stuff that you're not, you know, used to playing. Yes. That, that stuff, you know. Because our band is all different ages, you know. We've got my son, um, I think, is the youngest. No, my, yeah, my son is the youngest. Um, and then... Doug is the oldest, you know what I mean? And so the, it's such a, a wide um, age uh, age group there yeah. that... You're 25, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we all listen to different stuff. Now, I, I think our, our generation of, like, our my nephew and them listen to a lot of the classic songs, yeah. classic rock songs, because that's what we're... Our age, you know, 70s and 80s stuff, yeah. 90s even, um, they were listening to just because they had to. You know, they're brought up to it because my son could sit back to the drums and play all, all these songs. I'm like, how do you know that? Well, that's what I listen to all the time, you yeah. know, growing up. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, they don't understand like the 90s stuff, you know, like they'd look at it 90s, 2000 stuff, but I was still in my 20s and 30s. You know, I mean, it's not like it's, 
it's so long ago, you know, those were the, we were out partying at that time, you know, yeah. and they're just growing up to that. So yeah. we, that, that style is together. Yeah. But the new, new stuff right now, um, it, it's it's a challenge and it's it's a fun challenge. You yeah. know, something I love taking on, you know, like, especially when somebody says, let's try this song. It's like, probably, you know, 10, 15 years ago, I'd be like, no way, you know, but now I'm like, yeah, let's do it, you know. <laughs> um, and again, one of the things that I really like about Zach and Cameron is um, doing like a female song. Yeah. Um, Celine Dion, we're doing um, Celine Dion. Um, it's just, it's great. Yeah. It's great, yeah. you know, and that's a challenge that I want to take. You yes. know what I mean? I want to take that on, not just myself. I want to challenge um, Cameron to, I want I want to hear this. You know, yes. I want to hear it on point, and he's got it. Um, and that's what I think, to me, listen to all the different styles of music. Yeah. Um, it's a challenge when it's, something that's new out of the ordinary um you know bass runs on a song that i normally wouldn't do it's like yeah i'm gonna learn it might take me a little bit but we're gonna get this down <laughs> you know and it's gonna be amazing when we do yeah. so that's how i look at it now you guys practice once a week twice a week um i want to say four times a week wow i'll never get there no um <laughs> we, we we all practice on our own because i need to go to one of these because i get hungry <laughs> or, uh, that's right that's you right. owe me a dinner See? i think that's right <laughs> that's right it's open um no we 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 all practice on our own yeah um we i know i should we, we learn our parts on our own okay and then um depending on the time of year like right now we're busy right through into october good you know every weekend some some of them are two on a weekend yeah um so we really don't have time to practice there yeah. we're, we're staying because we don't want to practice you know a friday night and we're playing on saturday you know keep cameron's yeah. voice you know clear um and ourselves yeah um and there, we all have things outside of the band you know our normal lives our work and everything else yeah. so um we will learn our songs on our own put it together maybe in small groups yeah um Everybody lives so for different places too. Cameron's in Rome. Um, my son's in um, Cicero. My nephew's in Salve. I'm in Morrisville. Doug and Jeff are in Kaz. So we, me and Doug and Jeff can get together a little more often. Yep. My nephew's at my house every weekend, so he's we're always you know practicing. My son can come out and practice. So we might do it in groups. Yeah. Um, and then we'll put it together. One practice. We'll have a long day practice. That's why I said we'll have dinner. You know what I mean? Yep. Or lunch yep. because we start early. We'll practice, you know, two, three hours, have something to eat, break for a little bit. And we take break in between there and then practice some more. Yeah. But um, on a summer months or summertime here, we're really busy. Yep. Um, we probably only get a few practices in. But yep. then when we're the winter months, yeah, I'd like to get once a week or at least every other week yeah. as a full band yeah. um, with myself, Doug, and Jeff at least once a week. Yeah. Um, and just keep the guitars going together. Um, see, and then... I can always FaceTime my nephew and, you know, hey, what do you think of this? Yeah, yeah, my son, Cameron, whoever. Yep. You know, we can keep communication that way. Um, but we don't really want to bring in too much new stuff until January, February. Then yep. we'll look at the next season yep. and say, okay, we're going to change these up. Um, you can kind of see what songs have been overplayed by us or other bands. Yeah. Um, that's the thing, too. We try to keep it um, songs that are not your normal you hear at every oh, I'm gonna go out tonight I'm gonna hear this song I know it you know this song you know mm -hmm. um, we try to keep it up so it's all, we, we might have some of them on there but yeah. we try to do our version of it and um, we try to keep it so the songs are kind of out of the ordinary obviously that's gonna happen you know, oh, absolutely. When you, you know, everybody's doing one, like Summer of 69, God Save. Yep, 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 <laughs> that's yep, going to happen. That's exactly it. That's exactly it. <laughs> no, you're not out there actively listening to other bands to try to rob their songs. No, know, because... no. And that's this thing, too. It's not, to me, it's not any bit of a um, uh, competition. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I think it's just the opposite. Yes, I think it it's, is. At least with me. And I know, like again, I'm going to keep using Kevin um, Pratt. Um, he's the same way. You know what I mean? It's... It's not a competition. It's it's helping each other out. Yep. You know, um, advertising, helping each other, networking. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of great musicians out there that are, will do that. Will do that. Yep. Gary Dunes. I was you know uh, buying a keyboard stand from a couple a month ago or so, and it was literally a three minute, maybe maybe I'm a, if I push in four minutes, transaction. Yeah. That's pushing it. You yeah. know, and my girlfriend's in the car, hot summer day. Yeah. I had my um phone left in the car but uh 
Yes, it was like an hour, 45 minutes later, I think I came out of Gary's house. Wow. <laughs> Wait yeah. till you hear his interview. He had a lot of stories. Oh, oh my gosh. The guy is amazing. It's going to be released amazing. next week, next Monday, I think. That's awesome. The yeah. guy's got so much. I mean, he's been around. What is it? How, how long is it? Four, or, I, wanna, I don't know. I want to say that. I want to say that how long. A lot. It's been, it's been many years yeah. he's been playing. Yeah. And I remember um, I moved to Syracuse just out of high school. Um and I remember then watching Gary yeah. going here. I'm like, wow, these, this band is tight. These guys are good, you know? I'll give you a snippet of it. He ended up working with uh, a guy on the radio that he idolized when he was growing up. You know, there, I think it was Tim O'Brien. They okay. called him Overy. Okay. And uh, Gary got into the radio, and Tim was the guy who taught him. So, That's you know, cool. Gary grew up listening to this guy, and then all of a sudden they're best friends and working together. So that's cool. That's coming that's up really in the interview. Cool. You're going to enjoy that. Oh, I'm, I definitely, definitely <laughs> will be. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. No, but talking to him, the, just the stories and helping, you know, just talking to me and, you know, kind of, it was, I left there feeling so good, yeah. you know, that pat on the back, like, yeah, we're doing the right thing in homebound, yeah. you know, and not knowing that I'm doing like what he would do made me feel good. You know, yeah. like, yeah, that's what that's what I do. You I'll know? give you a pat on the back, too, Dennis. <laughs> You're doing it right, man. I think so. I think <laughs> you guys band, sound it's not great. Me. It's not, it's, it's, a, it's the band as a whole. Yeah. If one person um, is off, we're all off. If one person um, isn't feeling it, we're all not feeling it, you know? Yeah. And we all make that band what it is. It's not one person in that band that's making the band who we are. It's all of us together. Yeah. Um, and that's the thing, too, is that have, we all have that attitude. Yeah. I've been in bands before where you know one person thinks they're the the, the they're the band. You're not going to be nothing without me. You know those bands don't Lead last. Lead singer. You know? <laughs> no, it, it, sometimes it is, but sometimes yeah. it's not though. Mm-hmm. Um, it's uh, you got to keep everybody together and humble. Absolutely, don't, absolutely. Don't have that one. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> if you do have that one, replace them. <laughs> that's exactly it. And I that's, get it. That's mm-hmm. exactly it. Um, and you, I still see it in some bands, you know, around, yeah. but. Um, I feel those are the bands. That's where they stay in different. They're that band. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 So uh, I'm glad you don't have that problem. You no. guys. You guys are named correctly, just like this is named correctly. Yep. You're really just chilling, and I've seen your show. You guys put on a phenomenal show. Thank I'm you. sorry I had Thank to go you. so quick, but I had to work that night. Yeah. Yeah. No. My schedule sucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And people know my schedule sucks, and they still, you know. Raz me. <laughs> Thanks for the one song, Chillin'. We appreciate it. Well, yep. I gotta go, man. <laughs> I gotta hey, make a living too. <laughs> yeah, well, you're out there supporting us. That's what that's what is great. And yeah, I appreciate you. You know, introducing us that night. You know, yeah. that was that was cool. That's what yeah. we wanted. You know, we wanted. Uh, I was scared to death to do that. I know. I'm always you, scared. You seemed nervous, but I was yeah. like, you know, you got this. I it's, got it through it. You know, and, and my thing is, you know what? Yeah. I think you should be doing it more often. I think these bands should be have, when they see you there. Why not? Yeah. You know, I mean, have you come up and introduce them? Because one thing, it's it's bringing that bridge together between us and you. You know yeah. what I mean? And and bringing that bond. You know, that's what it's about. You yeah. know, and you said when you, you just went out and you had all these people coming up to you and shaking your hand. Yeah. It's because who you are. You know, yeah. they like you. They yeah. rep- appreciate what you're doing. Yeah. And obviously, people are seeing it either on your um, Facebook page yes. or YouTube, or they're seeing it on the bands. You yeah. know, like I'm sure you're seeing followers. Join, you know, getting bigger and bigger yeah. every week. People join my page every day. That's what I mean. Yeah. So it's, it's when um, Gary Dunes um, posts, is, it's when it's posted on his Facebook, now you're going to have all those people looking at it, and then yeah. they're going to know who you are, yep. you know, when you're going out. And same with our fans, you know, they're going to see you and be like, hey, that's chilling, yep. you know. Or when I contact the band, because I still do all the contacting. Hey, why don't you do uh, my show? Well, we know who you are. We watch your show. Right. That's an honor to right. me. Right. Yeah. And that's the thing. You... you you allow us to post like our posters on your page yeah. that means a lot to us you know yeah. allowing that to happen because that's reaching out to all the other musicians around and their friends yeah. um my thing is networking and helping out within the community this is a 50 50 thing you're helping me by coming yes i'm helping you by absolutely absolutely you know, people getting to know who you are absolutely it's all about that yeah. that's again with the other bands i love it when i love it when um bands um will post our stuff on their page. Yeah. I'm not saying every time, but when like, if we're playing out, yep. hey, check out my buddy's band, blah, blah, blah. You know, we'll do the same thing. Yeah. Um, and I'll do it to, to a point with bands, yep. but if, if I don't see it being 
done to get back to us, yeah. then it's like, okay, I'm not really going to support them I as much. I don't see your stuff anymore, man, or I would be doing it more. Really? I it's, don't see it. Well, <laughs> well, you know what? I'm following this so been, many. This has been, a, this summer, <laughs> we stopped booking, um, we started the band, I think, in March, and it was May we stopped booking. Yeah. We booked through, and I, I shouldn't say, I, it was, we were still booking, but it would be people contacting us. Yeah. Oh, what, what about this? What about this? What about this? But um, we took on so much this summer, yeah. and it's a lot of private private parties. Okay. The summer summer has been busy with parties and weddings. Okay. Um, a lot of private. So we just did Luke and Saturday, and I don't. I think the next two or three weeks. I think it's September first is our first um, show that's private or no, not private. And I don't remember if it's Vernon Downs or. Um, I'm not sure where it is. I have to think about that one. But um, <laughs> we have so so many that are in private, you yeah. know, that um, I forget where we're playing coming yeah. up. But um, check it out on our Facebook page. That's right. Um, but with networking, even even like we have a photographer buddy of ours, um, name's Randy Zabrowski. Yeah. Um, goes by Z Productions. Um, he came out to he drove all the way to Lukens. He worked a 12-hour shift, mm -hmm. and he he him and his buddy Shandell came out to Lukens, and. Um, to get some pictures for us, mm -hmm. and um, that's support. Yeah. You know what I mean, and it's networking. You know, him, him on his page, posting our stuff. You yeah. know, and with us, so it's the community again. You know, it's the, the musicians, you with this, the photographers, yes. whatever it is that can help each other. It just makes it so much better for all of us. I hired the photographer for Chillin Fest. He's Did a you musician really? too. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, I want pictures of that. I want a video right, too. Right, right, <laughs> right. I want the whole thing recorded. And I it's all memories. It. It's all something oh, that you can yeah. look back on later yeah. on and be like, oh, that One was... One day because I'm not going to do this someday. Right. Yeah, so I right. want to see them memories. Yep. No, we can sit here. Yeah. And that's the thing. You know I mean? Think about this. We can sit here with our wheelchairs, or yeah, we, yeah. We, we, get, we change Roll these to... Roll my ass out that back We'll door. change these to recliners, <laughs> you know? We'll oh, have the yeah. nurses... Yeah, we can do it. Our, we're, even if we're not here, we'll do it in the nursing home together, buddy. Dennis, you taking a shit in your bedpan? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's a laugh. That, that's what I was waiting for. There it was. You've been doing it, I'm sure, but I didn't even really catch on yet. There's I'm, the laugh I've been waiting for. I'm trying to be mindful, and I got yelled at by an old lady on Saturday. Oh, you had a lot of swearing in that one. I said, <laughs> I put the disclaimer up that there was swearing in it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. And the metal band. Yep, because yep. you called him your son. He was over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was like, wow, Rick's like going off the wall today. <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't stop watching it. I was like, all right, we, wait, I got to go back and I got to check that out again. What did he just say? Wow. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. using that word a lot today. I'm off. I'm off. It was <laughs> yeah, like, it was and great. I watch it back and I go, oh, my God, I'm going to get canceled. <laughs> <laughs> like they, they influenced them bad that day. <laughs> they, they, they changed his water to something. Else. I'm out here with a freaking metal band, so it, that's gonna happen. That's right. And that's I, right. I feed off. Good of group that. of guys, you know, and that's the whole well, thing. In a normal conversation, I'm MRFer, MRFer. I use F like it's the yep, word the. Yep. <laughs> that's yep. how I am off camera, and yep. I know which, you know, some people watch it and shriek, and then I'll ask guys, and I'll tell other guys, and I was like. There's a lot of swearing in that. But who gives a half? <laughs> that's right. That's right. So yeah. like just be you, and I'm being me. Yeah. This is 100% me being me. Yeah. This is our conversation, even if that wasn't going. Right. This is just me. Right. And Daryl White from uh, now writer, who he's formerly Three Inch Berry, he popped in here just the other night just to. Hang I saw out. that. I saw you posted that. Just to hang out, and we had a blast. And he's yep. a freaking megastar, and he's popping in here just to hang out with me. Yeah. That's cool. Absolutely. I appreciate that. Yep. You know, and I'm waiting for you to pop in just to well, say what's up. I know you are. Now. <laughs> <laughs> like I say, you're going to show up one of these practices and have some food with us. Hell too. yeah, man. Throw something on a smoker. That's right. Oh, God, now you got me really hungry. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Where's your practice at? That's right. <laughs> Undisclosed location. Tell me after. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> That'd be cool to show up and actually no, watch absolutely, you guys. Absolutely, absolutely. You know what? Mm. Um, we usually do have people showing up to practice. You know that's I mean? cool. We do. We used to, um, it's just a band, but, you know, like the white and stuff, but you get somebody yeah. um, that, hey, I, let me know when you're practicing. I want to hear you guys again. You know, it's like, all right, I can't make it to the show. Let me at least come to one of your practices. All right, you know. Yeah. This works out good. I oh, like yeah. it. I like it. Yeah. It's open. Yeah. I was going to ask you what, uh, your upcoming gigs are, but you can't remember. <laughs> uh, yeah. it's, I know we got this weekend. It's um, yeah, go look. Awesome, yeah. some awesome parties coming yes. up. Um, but uh, let me see what we got coming. We up. can always Here edit this go. little part out. No, no, we can we can keep it going. Yeah. So we are into August now. So we just did Lukens. 
Um, I chill with Rick interview today. <laughs> uh, I got that even on there. Um, that show sucks. We got a private party this weekend. Um, the following weekend, a wedding, private party. September 1st is Vernon Downs. It's a Friday night. That will be it. So it's the air before that. So I'm going to try to get out there. September 1st, Vernon Downs. Um, then we have a huge private party on September 2nd. We played this last year. Uh, I, can, I can say it on here. I don't think he's going to say man. RPO is Rome pre-owned auto in Rome. The, the owner, Jay, is an amazing guy. Actually, I went there to purchase a car for my nephew, Mike, in the band, and I walked out buying a car for myself, too. <laughs> I mean, it's it's it's... The guy, He's like, thanks, Dennis. No, the, the, place, the place, the I, the place, the people. I should say that. But the main part is this party. He put on a great party. Yeah. Um, big fireworks and stuff. Um, it was just a great, great party. Yeah. And um, we had uh, Seattle Suns opened last year for They're us. They're here to Wednesday. Nice, nice. Shane Scott. and Scott. Yeah. Together. Yeah, I Lord saw help that. me. Yeah. <laughs> I've oh never boy. met either one. Calm Scott down a little. No, Scott. I've Scott's, never met him in person. I hope he brings Scott. If you see this before your show, bring one of your 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 masks. <laughs> We're part of the show. Yeah, the man. He's awesome. I'll tell him. I'll message him. He was. Yeah. He was. Uh, uh, he's also the the bass player for Nine Ball um, when they play uh, with Joe Sweet, yeah. um, which is another great guy. Um, but. Um, Back to that. Then after um, the RPO big party, um, oh, I started saying. Um, so Seattle Suns and us did it last year. This year we're doing it for the whole night. Okay. Um, and it's a five-hour gig, yeah. which is a long show wow. for us. But what's amazing, we got both vocalists Zach and Cameron doing a shared thing tonight. Um, it's gonna be awesome. You gotta stand for five hours. We gotta stand for five hours. God, you better but take a But it's gonna break. be. It's gonna be. We'll have our <laughs> normal breaks in there, but it's gonna be. That's the that's the thing though. The adrenaline's gonna be so fun. Yeah. You know to do it. You gotta want to break. Yeah. Keep going. Uh, American Le- uh, uh, Bag Square Brewery. They're having a um, Oktoberfest. They uh-huh. have it in September though. Yeah. Which, um, I know it's because of the weather, but it's pretty big. They say, and we're doing. We're getting that. a pregame in on it. Yeah, yeah, they are for sure. <laughs> month ahead, but we're we're the headliners for that one, and then uh, American the United American Legion, where they're September twenty second. I'm there. You will be there. I know. I will You're introduce you. Go to those. Yes, will you please? Yes. Thank you, buddy. You got it. Man. I'm looking forward to that. Cousin Chillin'. That's right. I got you, brother. That's right. I'm going to announce you some... first. Don't I'm going to announce you yeah. as my cousin, all right? Yeah. Yeah. Cousin Chillin's yeah, here. Yeah, you introduced then me you come first. On up, that makes me feel more it, comfortable. Then actually. you take it from there. I think People that's what we like, did that night. I don't know who they're <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Don't forget, my, my date better be in there, September 12th. I, oh, I did. <laughs> okay, all right. 5 p.m. Chillin' Barbecue. The upper, <laughs> there ain't no barbecue, uh, but we, <laughs> we ain't missing it though. <laughs> We're gonna have pizza that day. All right, that's that's fine. Yep. Um, mm. Yeah, and then we got more weddings and more private parties, and it goes in the end of September. Uh, Station two thirty three. Oh. Uh, we got Hotel Salisville in October. Vernon Downs again. Lukens. Um, yeah. So it's all. Those are the places I love playing at. Bert too. Seymour. I just sent him a Did friend's he? request. I've that, never met him in person. No. Oh, great guy. Him and his sister both. Yeah. Um, yeah, yep. that's a that's a phenomenal place. Great food there. I, that's, I love playing these places because I love to eat. You know, yeah, and me these too, man. these places all got the best <laughs> food. So every time we go play somewhere, you know, I look like the great pumpkin right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's um, definitely a, a benefit when you're playing at these places and they got the food there. Yeah. I'm going to ask you one question. It's a fantasy question. What's that? Dream venue. Oh, you know what? I'm not gonna ask you your three favorite. I was albums. watching. I was watching the the metal the the metal guys when you asked it. That was yes. the show. And I'm like, okay. They were all over the place. I'm like, dream venue, and I sat back and I'm trying to figure it all out. I'm like, oh, I know what it is. This, and then I listen to the next guy, and I'm like, oh, well, he's <laughs> he's like, I don't know if it was, I don't know. There was most of them were like middle to bigger places. Yeah. And then also one guy mentioned something. It was like a smaller joint. He wanted like, to be the Stanley, I think. Was it the I, I thought it was smaller than that. I don't know. I, I want to say like Madison Square Gardens yeah. to to something. Like, I'm not going to say like a small bar or something. I'll have to go back and, and I was watch like, you know what? That's actually my thing. I don't really. My thing's always been New York State Fair, uh-huh. and I don't care. I don't want to be at the 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 big you know stand and stuff. Yeah. You know what would be Cold Muffler Court? They got the other new one out back. Yeah. I would love to play at one of those, but even just being in the fair, playing at one of the bars, yeah, that'd be cool to me. But those have always been right through. Um, 
I don't know because I love play all these places. I love playing at. Yeah. Um, I'd love to get into casino, uh, the Turning Stone. That'd be cool. Yeah. Um, that'd be that'd be probably one of them. Um, I know we want to try to get more to the Syracuse. We're, we're Turning bigger Stone, out here. I know from another, another musician. Oh, Tim Moyer was just here. Three uh, November. Oh, they're going to do the... You can audition. Okay. Yep. Okay. If you find it out beforehand, yep. send me a little message there and let me know. Because um, he yeah. knows a lot of people want to get in there. Yeah. It's an audition process. Yeah, yep. So, so I'd like to do that one. Um, I just love a lot of these bars that we play. That's why you know, we'll go from different one, different one, different one. Um, single Cut Bar, uh, our Single Cut Brewery, we played their opening in Manlius. Yeah. Um, and they have one in Saratoga Springs and one in New York City. Um That'd be kind of a cool one to go somewhere else farther away like that. Um, I guess it'd be a farther away one. Yeah. Somewhere in Rochester, Albany, you know, down in the PA. That'd probably be my, my event. I don't care how big it is. Just to travel and do Just it Just travel, way. man. That's right. Keep it on the road. That's right. Homebound. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's, I think, what would be my dream would be. My dream venue. Yeah. I like it. Now, what's your... Let's go backwards. What's your dream? Would you be okay like this? Or would you like to be, like, on the radio, like... You know, I dig that. the outside vibe, mm-hmm. but I wouldn't, you know, be opposed to a studio, a very mm-hmm. nice studio, obviously. That's like a hundred years down the road. Right. I'm not going to be alive then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but I, I mean, mean, but I, I watch all these other shows to try to get better at this. That's not working. <laughs> oh, you're, you're, but I you're, see the real nice uh, studios, and their name is in lights, and I was like, yep. oh, chilling would look real good in lights. Yeah, it would. Yeah. It would. I knock my show a lot, but I don't want to be seem like, oh, this is the greatest show ever, and, you know, only, I, only everybody's kind of coming to chilling, and there's nobody else. There's a lot of other people they could go to. Yeah, but... But I just, shouldn't knock myself. I do an okay job. You do a great job. Yeah. You do a I great appreciate job. it. You really do. Um, this was... you. I don't know if you've watched season one or season... But I've grown a lot. Absolutely. I mean, I was reading off of a notebook, and yep. Justin and Z... Justin Smithson and Z. Z's the other guy who yep. does this. He goes, get rid of that fucking notebook. He goes, you've got to have a conversation. You're a good talker, and that's, you know, one thing, and able to keep it going Yeah. is... Uh, I honestly love my show, good. and I think I'm doing an okay job. Oh, you're doing a great job. Yeah. You know, definitely pay yourself on the back on that. And yeah. then it's not just myself, you know, my, everybody in the band, even my sound man, Boomer. You know, it's we all talk about, you know, your show. Yeah. You know, that's Did you cool. see this one there? Yeah. Yeah, so it's, to me, that that's showing that it's... You're building the fan base, yeah. and you're building it, um, and it's all steps here. You know, you're five years in. Just yep. think of where you'll be five years from now. I can't wait to see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, we'll see, man. Yeah. I'm just only going to get better. Yeah, that's 10,000 hours it. to make something perfect. That's it. That's what I'm hearing. But the other thing, too, is remember, you got all of us, too, yeah. that if you need help with anything, yeah. you know. I have a lot of support system. Call us really up. Put it on, that's what I mean. Put it yeah. on Facebook. Not yeah. just, like, support that. I mean, anything. You're like, yeah. hey. You know, we need this backdrop painted, you know, yeah. so I, I want this to be all black. So that, yeah. Yeah. call us. That's cool. You'll get people here. I guarantee <laughs> it. You know what I mean? That's the thing. That's what I, I, I'm going to put it out right now. Everybody um, in the music community, is, you're helping us now. Yeah. We'll be there for you for the future. You yeah. need anything done, you know, for your show. Yeah. If it's going to benefit your show, just ask us. I know oh. the people are going to be out there. Yeah. Think of You just said that, he, you know, he stopped out just out of the blue to come out and hang out with you. You're going to get that. You're going to yeah. get all these people that will be like, oh, I can do that for you. I'll help yeah. you, you yeah. know. Yeah, I have uh, a lot of friends doing yeah, this, yeah. and that's cool. When you can call Tim Moyer your friend, right, right. I just messaged him today. I nope. I seen his new guy, and I was like, how do I get him? He's like, he's only going to be here for a day. <laughs> so he's on tour, and yeah. I didn't know that. Gotcha. But I heard him, I was like, wow. Yep. <laughs> I was like, I need him on my show. He's like, yeah, it's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm always looking for the next one. Yep. Who else can I get here? I'm already trying to get next uh, season goal. Right, right. And I'm only going to do like 15. Right. So I want it to be... Now how are you going to do it? Are you going to do singles yeah. next year? Still going to keep it at, you yeah. know, pretty yeah. much at singles? Yeah. I mean, if you, when I had Mean Streak out here, thank God I got them all on camera. I mean, I had somebody on this side. Billy Davis was on this side. <laughs> but that was too many to have on camera and everybody's talking over everybody. Right, It's right. a wonder, it's an amazing that it went as good as it did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I like to keep it to it max on that gotcha. side. Gotcha. Me and two other people. Yep. Anything more than that, you know, people tend to talk over everybody, and it's just a clusterfuck. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yep. So, I would like to keep it, you know, one-on-one. Yep, no. That's a good conversation. Sure. Yeah. Sure. I can see yeah. that. Yeah. And I'm always, and I have to be part meteorologist, too. 
being I know. Here. I know. <laughs> yeah. So. But we got lucky tonight. I mean, yeah. It's not sunny out, but actually it's nice. It's comfortable. real nice. This, yeah. The rain's on the way, though. Yeah. <laughs> it starts in a little while. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it was, like, Saturday at Lukens. We wanted to be outside, and then it downpoured for, like, 10 minutes. Yeah. And if it was a different 10 minutes, it would have been fine. But it was right when we pulled in, so it was, like, definitely indoors. Yeah. Then it went away. But if we were... We knew the radar ahead of time, and yeah. it would have been nice to play outside. Yes, absolutely. Everybody loves it out here. Yeah. Genesee Joe's a big fan of this. <laughs> he loves being out here. Yeah. A I lot bet. of the musicians come out and they just look at this tree. It's a cigar tree. And they're like, wow, this is just nice. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah. Yep. And when the Canadian Smoke was out here, I had Z out here, and that's the night I forgot to turn on the mics, and the episode didn't get released. Obviously, because it was like a mime show. <laughs> I was so excited to see him, I forgot to turn these on. Uh. <laughs> but anyway, he goes, this is the only place in central New York where there's not smoke. It was a day like everything really? was just yellow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah. yeah. It Definitely. was the real bad day. We were up in the 500s, I think, for the yeah. air index. It was like, oh. Yep. But, yeah. I've had a lot of fun out here, man, and I appreciate guys like you. You know, uh, we appreciate. We're you. just sitting out here shooting the shit and chilling, man. Yep. That's all this is. I'm 100% being me. <laughs> this yep. is it. So. I appreciate you having yeah. me and you know supporting all the local bands and stuff. It's I, really helps us out. You don't you don't realize it. You know you you don't give yourself enough credit. I don't. You know I don't take thing. it you, serious at all. You. Uh, <laughs> it's an honor and a privilege for us yeah. to come here. You know what yeah. I mean? It's not. And that's why you, I think you're getting so many people who are like, oh, no, you know, yeah. I want to be that one of those 15. But you, people are going to have to understand, no, you're not going to be, you know. Yeah. I don't expect to next year. Ne you know, the year after, I better be on the show. <laughs> you, no, but, no, and that's the thing, too. You got. You have an open invitation. You know, yeah, but the thing is we have, thank you, yeah. but we have, you have so many musicians. And if you take, like with my band, you know, we're, I consider my sound man part of the band. Yeah. So that's seven of us. Yep. Um, and, and I'm an take, honorary member, right? That's right. So that's eight. <laughs> um, but you you take. Um, I don't need bands. a drum head for out here. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I should have brought for our advertisement. Um, but you take anywhere from four to six, seven people. Um, that's a lot of members. That yes. if you took different ones, even that you're never going to get through every band that's locally here. Tell you know me about I mean? it. So I've you tried. Gotta juggle and see, you know. But my thing is, you know what? Do the ones that support you, and yeah. you know, and that. These new people are coming in, and it's it's gotta be. I, I give you a lot of credit. That's gotta be tough. It is. You're, you you ever book a musician? <laughs> well, but you're so you. It takes up your whole summer. It takes yeah. up your whole year. I was you know? three four hours today on messenger. You know, people are canceled. I suppose say four this week. I'm down to two. Hey man, I gotta reschedule. Hey man, I gotta reschedule. It's like oh. And I have no hair left. That's right. You're looking like me. But it's a non-paid thing. You know, you're doing this for the love of it. That's yes. what's. Yeah. That's what people got to understand, too. You yeah. know, you're here to help us. I do have eight sponsors. I made a couple bucks, you know, yeah. but it's not all about the money either. I right. just love doing this. I would go back to having no sponsors. I just love doing it that yep. much. I'm cool if I don't have any sponsors. Whatever. Yep. I have fun doing this. You know, that's how it is. Yeah. Yeah. The live uh, stuff that didn't work out there. No. The Wi-Fi out here. I mean, yeah. Don't. That's how it is in my place. <laughs> yeah. That could have been big. And it's yeah. a wonder it made it through 32 minutes. I think but would it, it would have would have helped you? I mean, or I shouldn't say helped you, but would have would have been better or worse? Because I know it's going to have pros and cons. But yeah. um, I don't know if people would be more nervous, like, oh my God, it's live! I can't see that. No. You, know, you know what I mean? No, you don't musicians think, can no. care less. <laughs> <laughs> They're like more than merrier. That's right. Bring it on. That's right. That's true. That's I'm true. the one who says, oh man, I'm not meant to go live. Yeah. You know, because it'd be a lot of people busting my balls. Yeah. It's just how it is. Right. But it's out of love. I have that kind of friendship with a lot of people. You know, I'll pick on them, they pick on me back. Right. But we love each other. Right. And that's just how it is. Yeah. You know, so. Well, that's good. Yeah. That's, that's how you want it. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. I'm not meant to go live, but, you know, I might bring it in full time in there, in my dining room. It's big right. enough. But, I don't know. Maybe that's a future chilling problem. Right. Right. <laughs> or the Wi-Fi is nice and strong in there. Yeah. But when it gets out here, it's like. Well, it's got, a, it's got a cut time from after the show, you're done. Yeah. Shut it off, and yeah. that one's done. It's already been on. Yeah. Now you got to go back and repost it, yeah. and and then add your sponsors back in. With so many sponsors this yeah. year, I was oh my god, I was winded yes. breathing right. all of them. Right. I'm sure you've seen it. Oh yeah. <laughs> I yeah. was like, <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> but I plan on cutting down on the sponsors too. You know, so yeah. I mean, more people. You know, people say get more, 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 but you know, I'm good. 
I don't need 900 sponsors. You know? Right. I'm not that much of an attention whore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I always feel bad. Hey, man, I'm chilling with Rick, you know. Uh, and a lot of people know who I am, but, you know, I'm trying to sell my show to sponsors, you know. I, uh, this year I had lunch meetings with uh, one of them because he wasn't sure. And I had to sell him on my show, and I had to be confident enough to do that. You know what, though? That's another thing, though, is your sponsors. Yeah. You had um, the carpet. Yeah. Um over here in Oneida. Yep, Oneida Carpets, Lynn White, before yep. August. Yep. yep, and I'm actually getting ready to contact them to find out about stretching my carpet, yep. and that was only because of your show. See, that's two things you've Make helped me sure out. Make sure you mention my name. All right, that's two things right there. He's ready to cut me I off. Would have, I would have, <laughs> no, honestly, honestly, I would not have um, knew him, no. knew about him. No. And then I'm like, wait a minute, when, when Jody said, we got to get the carpet stretched, I'm like, yeah, but you know, who are we going to contact to do that? I'm like, wait a minute, I do. I, I was on Chilling with Rick. He had the sponsor. So, yeah, I'm going to be oh, yeah. contacting this week to find yeah. out about getting the carpet Make sure stretched. you mention my name, man. I will. I will. <laughs> that might keep him around for another season. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Keep Rick. Yeah, no, seriously. That, that's, uh, see, that's the thing. All yeah. that, the, the, it's the who you know yeah. thing and the networking and communication. I know a lot of people through this. Yeah. And it's, it is a big networking process. It, it is. is. You know, I've had suggestions, hey, you got to get this one. And I actually went ahead and found the person and they've been here. Yeah. Hey, this one told me to get you. Yeah, well, you've, you've, you you're obvious to me. It's it's interesting to see the bands that you get um, on, or the the people I should say you get. Um, just Joe, you know that's one right He's there. He's coming for a part two you soon. Know, yeah, yeah. Um, amazing, you know, amazing guy. And that was five years. So to try to get so him. okay. So you know that um, Kevin Dean, yep, which is with Seattle Suns, yeah, was also with Joel Tier in the back with, for Brand New Sin for a while. He did. Um, a little stint with them. Yep. Um, so that's that kind of cool too, where you got all these bands that this person was that person, this bands with that one. Yeah. So um, yeah, we've just, all been with each other eventually. Yeah. yeah <laughs> throughout yeah. the sands of time. That's you know? exactly. It, you know, <laughs> um, a lot of the musicians, you know, will be back and forth with different bands, and it's yeah. cool. Yeah. But just Joe's another one. He's just amazing. Yeah. Um, and you get him on your show. You know, and that's that's what's. That was a huge one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, you. Yeah, but even. It's not about being that, that huge one. I mean, yeah. to meet Gary Dunes, you know, yeah. um, Showtime. You're picking the right ones to have on a show. You're yeah. picking the ones that are standing out for a reason, yeah. and um, um, they're icons. And even, I mean, we'll take the smallest of the bands. You know, you're, you're still getting the ones that are, are good. Doing Showtime together next year, like three of them, mm -hmm. Justin, Jose, and Joe. Joe doesn't talk much. And, uh, I don't talk much either. <laughs> yeah. It's their thirtieth next year. Oh wow! They started right yeah, out of high school. They started in high school, matter yeah. of fact. So that's gonna that'd be a big one. Wow! And I don't know if I'm gonna have it out here or not. We might do something special for that. That'd be cool. That's another future chilling problem. Well, that's the other thing too. <laughs> what about that for a suggestion? You know, you have your your big end of the year thing, but yeah. maybe an intro thing where Genesee Joe's MC in that. But I, no, oh yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, um, but no, I mean like a. Um, Intro to the season where it's like instead of having just one person, you know, you got five, six bands, you know, and we're all you're just going around past the mic talking, hey, you know what I mean? That's an, I've never heard intro, that idea. You know? That's the first I've ever heard. Because then, then you can get whoever shows up today. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Whoever wants to come up back here today, we're gonna have a, the opening. It'd be nice season. to have an audience for the opening, right? That's what I mean. You know, you're talking. You're to invited to that, Dennis. Bring your you know, whole band. I will, and but you know what? You gotta get the other ones. You gotta get you know broken rule down here. You mm -hmm. gotta get whoever. Yeah. You gotta get all these different bands in here and um, have it so it's uh, not a party. I mean, yeah. we'll, we'll order pizzas. Yeah. You know, we'll all pitch in and yeah. have a good time for your opening for the season. You know, I like we'll, that. We'll put idea. it on for you, <laughs> and you just walk around the mic and start talking to different people as it's going. Yep. And have a little intro for the year, because you, if, especially if you're not gonna do as many shows, yeah. you can get five, six, eight bands all done at one time. Yeah, you know, we don't all need an hour. We can half hour, forty five minutes. We can all take five, ten minutes, yeah. and still have a good time shooting the shit with you. Hell yeah, man! You know, yep. that's what it's about. Was just hanging out with you. We're chilling. just chilling, man. Yeah, I love your shirt, by the way. Oh, I don't know I if I told too. you. I don't know. The guy's pretty cool. <laughs> have you wore that? Yeah. Yeah, or is oh, this yeah. first? Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> he goes, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, good. Look at it. It's holding it up, too. Oh, yeah. Nothing's running. Nothing's no. fading. I no, hope it's good. Look at that. Guy's the, um, under a shirt, will right. you? That's um, right. No, actually, uh, my thing with a band is, and this is, again, where we try to take it to the next level, is, is you know, I don't like um, going out playing and we warming up. Yeah. And we're playing a song that we're, it's not us, say, for instance. Yeah. You know, um, we play some heavy, depending on where we are. 
Backroad Tavern, we'll play, you know, Event Sevenfold. But um, we're not going to play that at Backroad Tavern. So my thing is warming up. We warm up with the songs, or yeah, if you're checking something out on your guitar, you know, I don't want to have commotion going on. I want, to, I want us to be professional, and we play something that's in our range. Yeah. Same thing how we look. You're not going to show up to a gig and have an ACD shirt on or Garth Brooks. I mean, because that's showing, like, one style. Yeah. And that's the thing in the band. We don't wear shirts that say something on it. Yeah. Except for if it's, like, a big Apple Music shirt. Yep. The chilling shirt, yep. you know, maybe a Fender, yep. you know, uh, Pearl, something to do with that. That's different, yeah. you know, and that's because like this shirt here, I've worn to gigs, yeah. and that's because I'm supporting you. This isn't showing. If somebody looks at that, they'd be like, oh, he's playing that style of music. No, you know, but it's like, oh wow, he's supporting Rick. You know, yeah. that and that's what we want. We, we you know, so yeah, I've worn this couple gigs actually. That's cool. Yeah, um, actually, I went down as a friend of mine's gig down PA um, about a month ago. I'm like, yeah, I'm wearing my chilling shirt now, <laughs> you know, and I did. I worked for his gig. It was fun. I think you're my biggest fan. I, hey, I am a big fan. I, I think. Am. I think you I are. Am. I have no problem saying that. Um, no, I don't think so because I know there's there's others out there that um, just as much um, in discussions your name comes up um, and appreciating the, the the support you give us. Yeah. You know. So no, I'm not. I probably I bet you yeah, there's more the better. Yeah. And I, sp- I think I'm a good big fan, but I think you got more. You are a big fan, man. You got that's right. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I think, no. You, <laughs> no I, think you, I think you got a lot of. Again, I don't think you give yourself credit. You yeah, have a lot I don't, of. I don't. I you try have a lot of people to. that really are here for you. Yeah. Um, when needed, again, when we, when I saw that post, I'm like, oh my gosh, you know. And my, my, my post was like this long, like begging you basically not to give up, you know. Yeah. And and then I later on I read like 50 posts before mine of them saying the same thing. I'm like. All right, I thought I was going to be original here and, you know, <laughs> come up with these ideas. I read them all, and that, I don't think I didn't cry. I bet. Don't I think bet. I did Because, didn't. I mean, that was the thing. We, <laughs> we, we don't, yeah, yeah, say you stop doing it. Okay, yeah. Rick stopped doing it. But we know, again, like the passion, um, like with myself earlier, you know what I mean? I know that it's something you love doing, so yeah. don't give up. There's yeah. other things, there's other ways of trying yeah. ideas to make it work for you. So you're still doing that thing you love. I have one big brainchild going, you know. Oh, you got you're you're one of them. I got Bruce Chandler. You know he's resonance. You know yep. there's a whole bunch of Daryl, Justin would yep. help. Z would help. It, uh, countless guys would help me. Absolutely. Monster Mike, obviously. And you know if I wanted to have just one big think fest, I'd invite you all to my house yep. and we would have pizza and just think of how I could make this better. Yeah. But yep. you know. But you got it. You got everything. You're doing everything. It's cool right. that I made a lot of friends. You know doing this. Yeah, and, and that's have. that's what you gotta look at. You and look I stay at in that. touch with everybody. Mm-hmm. Because I'm gonna need guests, and you know, and I like you guys. You, you, you're not gonna need guests. That's yeah. you. You know that. Yeah. They're knocking on your door, like, "Hey, Rick, I want to be on your show." <laughs> you know. Yep. Yeah. You that, know. Yeah. That's happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's definitely uh, something that we all look forward to. You know. Yeah. Oh man, this was a great conversation. Yeah, it was. One it of was. my favorites, if I dare say. Yeah, I hope. Yeah. yeah. I Thanks for tooting the horn. Uh, hey. <laughs> I used to play horn in high school. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for supporting All right, me buddy. with a chilling shirt. Keep wearing Thank it. Thank you. Keep kicking ass like I know you will. Oh, we will. Hell we'll yeah. try. I love your name. Check out Homebound on yes. Facebook, Instagram. And, Check uh, them out. We'll be passing the word for chilling with Rick. And I will be time. introducing you September 22nd. Yeah, absolutely. That's yeah. 100%. I and I'll hang out with you guys, you guys beforehand, too. Yeah, absolutely. Be set up. Yep, yeah, <laughs> so well, that's I can what, actually that's talk to you did, guys. That's what we did at Backroad Tavern. I said, hey, guys, we got to get there a little early because yeah. I want to be set up and done yeah. when Rick gets there so we can shoot the shit with him yeah. a little bit. I'll know? be there about 45 minutes early. Sweet. I like to hang out. Yeah, yeah, So cool. be set up and shoot That's the, the shit. only time we can talk to people. Yeah. Is like before you get a 10-minute break and you're looking around going, oh, my God, that person's here. That person, I got to say hi to this one, that one. Oh, got to get back up there and play, you know, and then end of the night, it's like, oh, my God, we got to start tearing down. Yeah. And then you get somebody talking to you and it's like, oh, one second, you know. So you don't get to talk, we don't get time to talk to people. This is I'll, awesome chilling with you this way yeah. because now I get to talk to you. Yes. You know. And I'll be introduced at Chilling Fest, and I got a lot to say there. So sweet. It'll get me over the little hump of the fear that I get when I. I can't believe you've done this this long. I can't believe yeah. you still got fear. Yeah. When I'm in front of that's just the phone right now. Right. I could see nobody. But right. when I'm in front of people, I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, but you got to remember, it's all of your friends. <laughs> it's everybody that idolizes you. You know, we yeah. all look up to yeah. you. So yeah. it's like. You should be up there like, okay, guys, yeah, relax. <laughs> you guys calm down. If I can get two people to clap for me that day, it'd be a miracle. 
right, I'm going to go around. I need you to start a chillin' chant. Chillin'. All right, chillin'. All right I'll, start the, I'll start the chillin' chant. But from now until then, I'm going to go around and see if I can find a second person. So I'm not the only one. Okay? Hopefully, I'll find one more person. Just one more is all I need. Okay, I'll find. I'll try. So if not, I'll pay him. Yeah. You're gonna get a big shout out that day. You're gonna get a, you're gonna get a lot. Oh boy! Oh boy! And it's gonna be a mini roast. I'm, I plan on picking on Daryl. Oh good, 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 good. I'm I'm up for it. Definitely you can pick roast on, on me. You can roast. That's right. That's right. You can roast on the on the crybaby. No, but no, absolutely. no. You were not the only one. No, I know, but hey. Dude, when I started this, uh, you know, this year, I walked in here, I sat down, look at that, and I just overwhelmed with emotion. I lost it twice. Wow. And Lynn's like, you're a pussy. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I was like, fuck you. (laughs) Oh, boy. Oh, man. Oh, well, hey. Hey. Thank you so much, buddy. Thanks for having me. No problem, man. And I appreciate it all. Hell yeah. Thanks for my chilling with Rick. Check out Homebound, guys. That's right. Thank you, guys.